Welcome to this class 101 three car diesel mechanical multiple unit in British rail blue and grey livery. This brief introduction will cover startup, stopping and passenger operations. Before getting started some of the controls must be set in the rear cab. Head over and climb aboard. Red lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the operational train. While the brakes in the lead vehicle hold the train, set this brake as indicated. Everything's now set up, so head to the front of the train to continue preparations. When ready, sit in the driver's seat. The control circuit key is used to activate the driver's desk. White lights will indicate to anyone around that this is the front of the operational train. This train features two engines in each driving vehicle. Start the engines in this vehicle. Now start the engines in the rear vehicle. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. It's time to move. Set the handbrake as indicated. This train features a gear system similar to cars on the road. To attain higher speeds, the active gear must be increased at the appropriate time. When accelerating and the RPM dial has reached the top of the yellow zone, it is appropriate to change up a gear. The brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. The process of changing gear has several steps. Set the throttle to idle and allow the engine RPM to reduce below the yellow zone. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a higher speed. 
When the RPM dial reaches the top of the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. To cruise at a constant speed, the highest gear should be engaged. This reduces the speed the engine operates at and is fuel efficient. Start applying a small amount of brake force now to achieve a comfortable stop. Well done, practice makes perfect. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe and then unlock the doors. Good work, that's the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train and more.